All right, the chain rule is used on all problems when you take the derivative. Sometimes you may not see it because the derivative of the inside is 1. When using the chain rule, you take the derivative normally, leaving the inside the same, then you multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Let's look at our first example. y equals 2x minus 5 whole thing squared. What we're going to do to the problem is use the u to the n rule, and that is the derivative of u to the n equals n times u to the n minus 1 times the derivative of the inside. With this problem, you're going to take the exponent, and we're going to take it and bring it to the front. Keeping the inside the same, we're going to take 1 away from that exponent and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside. So if you see here, we have the 2 brought to the front. We took 1 away from the exponent, and then we multiplied by the derivative of the inside. All right. After you've taken the derivative, you're going to simplify. You're going to take the 2's and bring them together, and that becomes 4 times the 2x minus 5, and then we distribute, and we get our final answer of 8x minus 20. All right. Next example, we have y equals the square root of 3x plus 4. First thing we want to do when dealing with square roots is to change our exponent to a half. And then after we change the exponent to a half, we can then apply the u to the n equals n to the u to the n minus 1 dx u. All right, the same thing. We're going to take the exponent, bring it to the front. Keeping the inside the same, we're going to take 1 away from the exponent and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So as you can see here, we put the 1 half to the front. And then we took 1 away from the exponent, and then we multiplied by the derivative of the inside. All right. After we do that, we're going to combine our 1 half and the 3 together, and it makes 3 halves. And we can see that right here. We have 3 halves times the 1 over the 3x plus 4 raised to the 1 half because of the negative exponent. On the top, we would just bring it to the bottom of a fraction, and we get positive 1 half. And then we're going to take the uh, exponent to the 1 half, change it back to a square root, and then just combine the two functions, and we get y prime equals 3 over 2 times the square root of 3x plus 4. Last example we're going to see today is the y equals the sine of 3x squared minus 1. And we're going to have to use the derivative of the sine rule here. The derivative of the sine of u equals the cosine of u du. So again, we're going to take the derivative of this, keeping the inside the same, and then we're going to take the derivative of the inside. So we have cosine of 3x minus 1, again, inside the same, times the derivative of the inside. And then with a lot of trig functions, we just simply take the 6x and bring it to the front, and we get y prime equals 6x times the cosine of 3x squared minus 1.